Hi, we welcome you all on our YouTube channel Vance Vlog. As many of you are already familiar that we have started the preparation of Einberg room test in English and currently we are uploading the videos which are related to part 1 in which we are covering the events starting from 1933 before the second world war till the current situation of Germany. We have uploaded two videos starting from question number 1 to 60 and it is our third video for part 1. And till now what we have discussed is starting from the second world war then now Germany Germany was divided into two parts DDR Deutsche Demokratische Republic directly under Soviet Union and then West Germany Bundesrepublik Republic of Deutschland uh, then the situation was getting better there were some agreement Roma pact and there was some East Eastern contract and then the time has come when Helmut Kohl who is known as the Chancellor of German Union uh, he presented his 10 points and now we already know that in 1961 there was a wall which was built between East and West Germany known as Berlin Wall. So now the time has come in 1989 demonstration and protests were started everywhere in Deutsche Demokratische Republic, East Germany or DDR against this wall and people were chanting that we are Zindas folk, we are the common people. So we have covered uh, these topics. Now we will move to the first part, the first question of this video, which is question number 61. So our first question is, when were they the Maurer in Berlin for Ale Geoffnet? Uh, Geoffnet is from uh, Offnen, open is a past form. Geoffnet, when was Berlin, uh, Berliner Maurer or the wall of Berlin was opened for everybody, for all. So just, just remember this year 1989. 3rd October, 19, uh, you can say 3rd October is the date and 1989 was the year when this uh, wall was fallen. So 1989 and uh, during this year in 1989 it was opened for everybody and Germany was reunited. So the year was 1989 and this answer is correct. Now we move to the next question which is am October fired man in Deutschland then tag the Deutschen. Uh, on 3rd October, uh, fine to celebrate. In Germany, uh, there is a celebration for a day which is known as Tag der Deutsche Einheit, the Unity Day. 3rd October is the day when East and West, West Germany were reunited. Vereinigung, Vereinen, uh, they united again. Einheit is the term used for unity. So, the Tag der Deutsche Einheit, the name is clear. Uh, it is not, not known as a Nation, Nation Tag or Bundesländer Tag or Städter Tag. Uh, um, uh, on 3rd October, the day is known as Tag der Deutsche Einheit, the day of German unity. Let's move to the next question, which is a Warum nennt man the site im Herbst 1989 in the DDR, the uh, Why the time uh, in the Herbst uh, during the spring time in 1989 uh, in DDR, Deutsche Demokratische Republik, the time is known as the Wende. Uh, Wende is normally term we use for turnaround or a flip. Why this term in DDR, Deutsche Demokratische Republik, which was a part of Soviet Union, why the time of Herbst in 1989 is known as the Wende, the flip. In this side, for Andrei Zist, the DDR politics. In, in that time, for Anderen, the term which is used for to change here to modify. So the politics of DDR, Deutsche Demokratische Republik, was changed for Anderen. And the uh, was changed from Aina dictator to democracy. This answer is correct. We know Soviet Union was a dictatorship uh, 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 regime, and in DDR, Deutsche Democratic Republic, which was directly under the influence of Soviet Union, there was a dictatorship. And when this Berlin Wall was fallen down, and East and West Germany re reunited, so DDR was a part of Germany. Uh, Bundesrepublik of Deutschland and in Germany we had demo democracy still we have democracy so then uh, this DDR was changed was when they turn around from a dictatorship to a democracy note for ein liberal Marktwirtschaft to socialismus we know that in DDR we had plan Wirtschaft note the liberal Marktwirtschaft this answer is not correct we already know in DDR we had the economic system which is plan Wirtschaft von einer Monarchie zu Sozialdemokratie like DDR was changed from Monarchie Monarchie means kingdom 
to social democracy. Germany is a social democratic system. That is clear. But in DDR, we don't have monarchy or kingdom. We had dictatorship at that time. So this answer is also not correct. For an INM religion start, so INM communist start, they are saying that it was changed from a religious state to a communist state. This answer is also not correct. It was changed from dictatorship to a democracy. And this answer is correct. So we will move to the next question. Welche der folgende Auflistungen enthalten nur Bundesländer, die zum Gebiet der früheren DDR gehörten? They are asking us from the following Auflistungen, Auflistungen mean from the following distincts. They have provided some list. Enthalten is a word we used to, enthalten used for to contain. So which of the following list contain, Auflistungen list, enthalten contain, nur Bundesländer, only those German states, die zum Gebiet der früheren DDR gehörten. Which were previously was a part of Deutsche Demokratische Republik. As I told you, this DDR or E Germany, Deutsche Demokratische Republik, was a uh, uh, was under the influence of Soviet Union, and there were five German states who were a part of DDR. Then, when this Berliner Wall was fallen down, and E Germany became part of West, Ger West Germany and with the Bundes Republic of Deutschland. Uh, like they became a part of Bundes Republic of Deutschland, then actually there were five states, which is still today known as the Eastern State or Eastern part of Germany. So those five states were there who became a part of uh, West Germany. So five states which were in DDR, we have to answer that. Where uh, was that uh, neither uh, neither Sachsen, North Rhine, Road, North Rhine, Westphalia, Hessen? We know North Rhine, Westphalia, and Hessen. They are they are northern side of Germany or southern side of Middle Germany. These were not in the part of DDR. Magdeburg, Vorpommern, Brandenburg, Sachsen, Sachsen, Anhalt, and Thuringia. These all are known as the eastern states of Germany. And this answer is correct. Not the Bayern or Baden, these are the southern states of Germany, not Rhineland Falls, even not uh, Hessen or Nida Saxon. Uh, Saxon is correct answer. Saxon was uh, a part of that. Brandenburg even uh, was a part of uh, uh, East Germany, you can see, or Thuringia as well, DDR. But not Hessen. So only the second option. Just re just learn, just remember these these five states. This question is very important. Uh, one like we in the, in the upcoming question will also will be related to these five five states. Just just remember these five states, and then in exam normally we have one two two questions about the states which were a part of DDR. So Mecklenburg Vorpommern, Brandenburg, Saxon, Saxon Anhalt, and Thuringia. These were the five states. I will quickly explain, I will tell you the capitals of these as well. Mecklenburg Vorpommern uh, was a part of DDR and the capital is known as Schwerin. Then we have a Brandenburg which is near Berlin and the capital of Brandenburg was Potsdam. Uh, is Potsdam. Then Saxon, uh, Saxon is also uh, in Eastern Germany, uh, was a part of DDR. And the capital is Dresden, the Saxon Anhalt is also an eastern state in Germany and the capital is Magdeburg. For Thuringia, uh, the capital is Erfurt. Just remember these five names. Upcoming question will also be related to these states. So these states are really important, known as Eastern Germany, uh, was a part of DDR, Deutsche Demokratische Republik or East Germany and now they are like, known as the Eastern states of Germany. So these were the five states. Now the next question is, Welsi Hortike Deutsche Bundesland Gehörte Fruersum Gebiet DDR? They are asking uh, which state was a part of DDR. Note Bayern, we know. Note Niedersachsen, note Baden-Württemberg, Sachsen was a part of uh, Deutsche Demokratische Republik. The capital was, uh, for Sachsen we know, was Dresden. So this is the correct answer. Again the same question, which state uh, from the current Germany, Bundesrepublik of Deutschland, Deutsche Bundesland uh, uh, was a part of East Germany or you can say Deutsche Demokratische Republik, DDR. We know Thuringia, not Hessen, Bayern or Bremen, Thuringia, Thuringen, the capital is Air Force. This answer is correct. Again the same question, which state like was a part of, uh, it was not Hessen, even not, not Schleswig-Holstein, Mecklenburg for Roman, the capital is Schwerin. This was the part of DTR, not even Saarland. Again the same question, which uh, German state uh, was a part of DDR, it was not Hessen, it was not Nodra in Westfalen, not Saarland but Saxon and Halt. Uh, the capital is Magdeburg. The next question is again the same, 
which was the state which was a part of DDR, which is Democratic Republic, or East Germany, North Bayern, North Saarland, North Hessen, Brandenburg. The capital is Potsdam. This answer is correct. Now, the next question is, we were the Beitritt, the DDR, so Bundes Republic of Deutschland, in your 1990s Allgemein Genant. Like when, when Germany, uh, East Germany became a part of West Germany, DDR became a pass, pass of part of Bundes Republic of Deutschland, how this Beitritt, Beitritt means rejoining the entrance, is known as NATO Osterweiterung, like the, the NATO uh, Eastern, uh, Eastern Extension, the East Side came into NATO, this answer is not correct, it is related to Germany only, not even related to European Union, not related to NATO. It is related to Deutsche Wiedervereinigung. Wiedervereinigung is a term we use for Wieder again Vereinigung to unite. So it was re reunion of two German con different countries, East Germany and West Germany. So it is known as Deutsche Wiedervereinigung, uh, uh, rejoining of Germany. It is question about Bundes Republic of Deutschland by trade the DDR so Bundes Republic of Deutschland in your 1990 October uh, 3rd October we know this date tag the Deutsche Einheit even it was not Europäische Gemeinschaft it was Deutsche Wiedervereinigung a reunion of two German different countries so this answer is correct so let's move to the next question which is we would then the Bundes Republic Deutschland on the DDR so I am start how BRD or West Germany, Bundes Republic of Deutschland, on the DDR, Deutsche Demokratische Republik or East Germany, uh, became one country. The first option is the Bundes Republic had the DDR visits that Bundes Republic of Deutschland, West Germany had occupied and uh, DDR. It is not the correct answer. They have haven't uh, occupied or they haven't attacked. You can say uh, East Germany. The Heutigen Fünf Ostlichen Bundesländer, in the Bundes Republic of Deutschland, by Getreten. And by Getreten mean to enter, to rejoin, to join. So this answer is correct. Today five is today we have five Eastern German states. They became the part of West Germany. They entered, they joined the West Germany. This answer is correct. Note Bundes Republic of Deutschland or West Germany occupied or captured those areas. The Westlichen Bundeslanders in the DDR by written it is not the correct answer that the West Germany uh, with 11 states became a part of or entered into DDR. It is not the correct answer. The five states of DDR uh, rejoined uh, the 11 states of uh, German Bundes Republic of Deutschland. Uh, and the DDR had the Bundes Republic of Deutschland visits or the DDR had occupied or captured the areas of Bundes Republic of Deutschland. This answer is also not correct. Those five states, those f five eastern states became part of Bundes Republic of Deutschland from DDR. This answer is correct. Our next question is with uh, them by trade the DDR so Bundes Republic of Deutschland. Gehogen the neuen Bundesländer nun auch. Uh, when these five states also became a part of Bundes Republic of Deutschland, so uh, the new states are also uh, they are asking are also a part of a part of which pact? European Union. Now, previously we know this DDR they were a part of Warsaw Pact, but as they became a part of Bundes Republic of Deutschland and Bundes Republic of Deutschland or West Germany was in European Union you can say so now this whole this whole 16 states or complete Germany Bundes Republic of Deutschland they automatically all the whole became a part of European Union it is it is clear like if Germany is a part of Bundes Republic of Deutschland then those five eastern states which are in Germany are also a part of European Union not the Warsaw Pact anymore, not OPEC, OPEC is about oil producing, there is a uh, organization for oil producing countries, even OPEC, it has nothing to take with OPEC, uh, so European Verteidigung Gemeinschaft, um, Verteidigung is to defend, to defense and Gemeinschaft is community, so they are asking like they were a part of European Defense Council or something like this, this answer is also not correct, only European Union is correct because this data are the five states and the rest 11 states in total 16 states are a part of European Union. Now the next question is was predicted the big, big Griff Europeisho Integration. 
like what is the term uh, this the big riff mean the term the term what exactly means or uh, what does what can we understand uh, with the term europacy integration integration of europe the name is clear it will be related to something uh, related to european union or europe integration the myth sind amerikanische ein wanderer in europa ge mind that mean that uh, ein wanderer mean uh, immigrants uh, so uh, europacy integration mean americans uh, immigrants uh, in europe uh, this means that uh, american immigrants are in europe this refer to that this answer is not correct the second option is this term european integration mean ein wanderer groups stop na europa like they will not allow to come immigrants to europe this term is also not correct the myth the european aus wanderer in then usa ke mind with this term uh, they are asking the third option it means aus wanderer mean experts so those european which are going to america that means uh, european integration means those european european union people uh, aus wanderer experts which are going to america this means this term this also is also not correct the big riff this term mind this susamin schluss susamin schluss means susamin together schluss mean close collation you can say so european integration as the name suggests it is a susamin schluss a uh, collation or merging european starting so au europashi union that means all many of the european states not all many of the european states we will see in the next question they agreed to work together they agreed for a coalition for a common currency for europashi union so this term actually the uh, the susamin schluss the integration or you can say the coalition of a different europashi start and different european countries so europashi union is known as europashi integration our next question is was bedoited the upcursing au upcursing means uh, abbreviation so what is au is europersche union europersche union no not europersche unternehmen or einheitliche union einheitlich means same or coherent coherent union or same union uh, not or a union but actually it is europersche union The next question is: We feel a mid grade start and hard the AU hoyte. How many mid grade mean uh, the partners or how many partner state or member states? Member you can say member state had European Union today. AU Europe Union today. So twenty one, twenty three, twenty five, twenty eight. We have twenty eight states. Twenty eight different countries, not states but countries. So you can remember this by just keeping in mind that the highest number is the correct answer. So, twenty-eight states uh, states uh, are currently the the countries are currently the part of European Union. You can Google their name as well, but just remember this thing that the highest number is the correct answer. Now, our next question is: Which is the flag of the European Union? Which one is the flag? So, we know this flag is from USA. This one is from some. UNO or institution of UNO so the stars the round the stars in the circle actually is a typical flag for European Union representing the member states of European Union so option number 2 flag num flag is flag flag number 2 is the correct answer you can just remember all the member states in a circle they are they have like uh, reunited they have made a coalition so this flag or many of you even may already know this flag which is this round is, is which is a circle of stars our next question is who is there sits this europese uh, european parliament uh, where is uh, uh, the sitting of european parliament is it in london paris berlin or strasbourg actually it's in three different uh, cities strasbourg and brussels and the other one is luxembourg whenever you have a chance to go any of these three cities just visit uh, european parliament maybe you can attend some virtual session over there and it is really informative i have attended it once so if you go there just try to it, it, it's free normally uh, or even i think it will cost now i am not sure maybe around 10 euros but it's worth attending so strasbourg actually is a city where we have the sitting of european parliament and welsh and oton are bited the european parliament where they work this european parliament where in which places actually they work paris london den haag no these all three are wrong strasbourg luxembourg and brussels this answer is correct note in roma bern or wien 
Pons Zurich and Milan is also not correct. These just just remember these three cities where we have uh, the buildings or the settings of European Parliament. Our next question is. Uh, where would by Europa Wall Gewalt, uh, who will be selected or chosen uh, during the Euro Europa is European Wall mean elections like uh, who is selected during the European elections that is clear that the members of European Parliament will be selected the European Commission, Commission this answer is not correct the Landa the in the European Union Eintracht in <laughs> like by European election we mean we select those countries which are allowed to Eintracht and to enter in the European Union this answer is not correct we don't have any election for the countries we make an agreement if some country want to join the European Union there is an agreement not election the Abgeordnete this European Parliament Abgeordnete mean representative so in European election actually we where we give it who will be chosen is the representative of European Parliament from all the member states uh, we have 28 member states and like we will have representatives for the European Parliament from, from all 28 states so they will be selected in European election the European Verfassung, Verfassung mean constitution. So European constitution is uh, selected during the uh, European election. This answer is not correct. The representative of European Parliament actually are elected. The next question is: Does European Parliament with the regular message give well, namely alle? This European Parliament, you have to just remember this this answer. Uh, this European Parliament is. Uh, elected after every five year so just remember the minimum normally uh, in democratic states even we have election after every four to five years so five year the minimum figure is correct six seven or eight it not looks correct so fun fiare after every five year we have european parliament election and this answer is correct so let's move to the next question our next question is right one bizarre man in deutschland with them euro in mar uh, since when Basalan to pay uh, like uh, we pay in Germany with, with euro the currency is euro so like just remember the, earl the earlier years of 21st century in 2002 when European Union was formed and currencies of all the European Union nations uh, were changed to euros so uh, it was the year in 2002 before that we have currencies in mark and some other currencies in different European countries but since 2002 we have uh, the currency which is euro in Germany as well 2002 our next question is Dush Welsh Fitragi Schloss Sisti Bundes Republic Deutschland mit anderen Staaten zu Europäische Wirtschaft Gemeinschaft zusammen. Dush Welsh Fitragi through which contract Schloss like is to close or to wrap up or to finalize Sisti Bundes Republic of Deutschland mit anderen Staaten zu Europäische which was the name of the contract through which Germany actually uh, signed an agreement with other European countries for Europäische Wirtschaft, Gemeinschaft, so Zamin. This we have already seen AVG uh, when it, there was a Roma contract or Roma Shifit Rag that was signed uh, for the uh, Central European Economy, Common European Economy, European, European, Wirtschaft, Economy, Gemeinschaft together. So AVG. It was not Hamburger Fitrag, not Paris, not London. We already we have already seen this question. It was a Romishan or Roma Fitrag. In Roma Fitrag, all the European countries, majority of European countries agreed on a common framework for their economic system. The next question is we highs Deutschland with Fulham Naman. Bundesstaat Deutschland, Bundesländer Deutschland, Bundesrepublik Deutschland. This answer is correct. Uh, other answer could be a part of that, uh, but uh, Berserk is uh, like a union or Bundesländer states, German states, Bundesstaat. But the name we already know is Bundesrepublik because it's a republic, it's a republic, so democratic republic, so Bundesrepublik of Deutschland is the correct answer. Deutschland is eine communist republic, no, eine demokratische und social Bundesstaat. Germany uh, or Deutschland is actually a democratic and de system, political system and social system is economic system is democratic system uh, 
पोलिटिकल सिस्टम इज डेमोक्रेटिक एंड द इकनॉमिक एंड सोशल सिस्टम इज सोशल स्टार्ट सो दिस आंसर इज करेक्ट इट इज़ नॉट कम्युनिस्ट नॉट कैपिटलिस्ट और सोशल मुनारकी देर इज नो किंगडम इवन आइन सोशल है उन सोशलिस्ट है बुंद स्टार्ट इट्स अ सोशल सिस्टम पोलिटिकल सिस्टम इज सोशल एंड इकनॉमिक सिस्टम इज ऑल्सो सोशल दिस आंसर इज नॉट करेक्ट वी नो इन बुंदिस लैंड इन डोइ लैंड वी हैव डेमोक्रेटी एंड इकनॉमिक सिस्टम इज सोशल मार्क्स विश आफ्ट सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दिस क्वेश्चन दिस आंसर इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द बुंदिस रिपब्लिक ऑफ डोइ लैंड इज होडे गिग्लीडेड इन लाइक दे आर आस्किंग टूडे जर्मनी इज ग्लीड इज टू स्ट्रक्चर टू ग्रुप टू डिवाइड जर्मनी इज डिवाइडेड इन फेयर बिजार्स ओन फोर ऑक्यूपाइड रीजन दिस वी नो डेट वॉज फ्रॉम द टाइम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द सेकेंड फिनिशिंग स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर वैन जर्मनी वॉज ऑक्यूपाइड बाई फोर डिफरेंट अलाइड फोर्सेज फ्रांस ग्रोस ब्रिटानिया यूनाइटेड किंगडम यू एस ए एंड सोवियत यूनियन सो बट टूडे जर्मनी इज डिवाइडेड नॉट इन टू विजार्ट कॉन्ट एंड नॉट इन टू ओस्ट ईस्ट जर्मनी और वेस्ट जर्मनी इट वॉज थ्रू द बर्लिनर वॉल सिंस टिल टिल नाइनटीन एटी नाइन बट नो नो मोर आफ्टर आफ्टर नाइनटीन एटी नाइन द जर्मन इज बुंदिस रिपब्लिक ऑफ टोइ लैंड वी डोंट हैव टू डिफरेंट कंट्रीज ओस्ट स्टर्ड ईस्ट और वेस्ट जर्मनी और सिक्सटीन कंटोनेंट डेट मीन दिस इज ऑल्सो अ टर्म विच इज यूज फॉर लाइक सिक्सटीन इज सम हाउ करेक्ट बिकॉज इन जर्मनी वी हैव सिक्सटीन स्टेट लाइक दे आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू कन्फ्यूज अस थ्रो दिस ऑप्शन डेट इट इज सिक्सटीन कैंटोन्स इज रिलेटेड टू ऑल्सो सिस्टम पोलिटिकल सिस्टम इन विद सिक्सटीन डिफरेंट कैंटोनमेंट्स और सिक्सटीन डिफरेंट रीजन्स आर आर जस्ट Living together with the confederation, this also is also not correct. Germany is divided into a Bund, that means a federation. Then, under federation, we have land, states. States are independent, as far as schooling system, social system, and political system or infrastructure is concerned. But whenever this foreign ministry, economic system, or some uh, some major things come, then obviously federation comes into rule. But German states are somehow independent. So the system of Germany is divided into Bund. On the top, we have Bund, that means federation, or German German Federation Union. Then we have 16 independent states, Landa, Un Communen, and uh, under states we have different local communities, or you can say local system. district system that we have uh, bundestag or german parliament at the top bundes and then we have state state parliament as well and then communen is a term which is used for local governments then we have a system of local government so if you see this hierarchy on the top we have federation then come 16 states and in each state we have different local government system so this we will also see in detail in part number 2 the part number 2 is totally about uh, the german political and democratic system but but for time being just remember these three terms germany is actually structured as bund länder und kommunen our next question is welche is das wappen der bundesrepublik deutschland wappen you know wappen is uh, a term we use for emblem or symbol what is the national symbol for germany and uh, this one we know was uh, earlier from ddr deutsche demokratische republik those who are already familiar with germany they know this is adler this eagle actually is a national symbol of germany so this answer is this eagle one is correct welche tier is das wappen tier des bundes republik deutschland they are asking uh, which animal tier is animal is a wappen tier or a national animal you can say of germany is is it löwe loin is it adler adler is correct we have already seen in the last question it is eagle not the bear bear or fed mean horse adler is the correct answer now the next question is welche symbol is im planer saal at deutsche bundestag so seen like here if you see there is picture as well if you see this picture in bundestag is german parliament just just remember this term bundestag mean german parliament so which symbol actually we see in this uh, planar saal is me and it it means that this com- the big hall how is it which symbol is there the bundes adler 
we know it is Bundes Adler. If you see German eagle, which is a national symbol as well. The Fahne that start building, they are asking that in the in the, in this Bundestag hall, in the hall of German Parliament, we have a flag of Berlin. No, we can't. We have haven't seen this flag. The Reich Adler that mean Adler eagle with Reich Reich mean imperial with some crown on it. We we could couldn't see any crown here. A Reich uh, crown, or you can say Reich mean imperial, imperial, which is a symbol of imp uh, imperial, some king type of uh, eagle, or the Reich krone or uh, imperial crown. Like uh, they are asking in German Parliament, we have this imperial crown, uh, some king with crown. This answer is also not correct. Not eagle with 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 a crown or with this imperial eagle. The correct answer is. Here we can only see the Bundesadler, which is also a national symbol of Germany. The next question is Welche Farben hat die Deutsche Flagge? German flag, which color? Uh, uh, which color are the part of German flag? Schwarz, rot, gold. This answer is correct. And those who are already familiar with the flag, rot, weiss is never an option. Schwarz could be there, rot, but weiss no. Schwarz, rot, green is not there. Schwarz, rot, or gelb. Actually, that color which looks like gel, but actually it's gold. You have to uh, learn it by heart that the color is Schwarz, Rot, and gold. This answer is correct. Our next question is: Wer schreibt der Text zur deutschen National Hymne? And it means who has written uh, the German National Anthem, National Hymne? So there are different names: Friedrich von Schiller, Clemens Brinato, Brentano, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, or Heinrich Hoffmann von Fallersleben. You have to remember the name actually. Here I have a trick for you. You know, whoever write the national anthem or national hymne or the national anthem for any country, like uh, he is being remembered uh, lifetime for, for for the lamas lange. So here you can see lamas lamas lange mean life lasting. Lamas lange in German. So if you see here at the end, we have the name Leman. Whoever. Uh, you, you can belong to any country. I think uh, you already know who has written your national anthem. So the person who writes national anthem for any country, he is being remembered for decades, for centuries. By the time this country exists, so uh, the the guy who has written the national anthem for Germany, his name is Heinrich Hoffmann von Fallersleben. You can actually uh, uh, do a mark here. The Sleben. The, the, we are we are having a label at the end. This answer will be correct. This guy, this poet will be remembered for the long time uh, because he has written the national hymn or national anthem of Germany. This answer is correct. So friends, here uh, uh, video number three for part number one, which is related to German history starting from 1933 till today. Video number three is done. Uh, if you are liking our videos, kindly like and subscribe our channel and. Along with that, I also want to add one more point. Uh, many of our YouTube viewers uh, have um, on our social media platform that we are using and, and YouTube comments have suggested that, that we should have a Patreon account. Uh, Patreon actually um, is a is an open source uh, contribution platform, which is mainly formed for YouTubers and bloggers. Uh, like uh, their viewers uh, or their readers can can support them by as low as one euro, I think, per month or one US dollar. Um, so we have already created our account on Patreon as well. So maybe uh, any of you. Uh, our youtube viewers if you want to support us on patreon then we will put the link in the description of our video for every video and if you want you can support uh, support us as with as low as one euro or you can make some pledge uh, patreon is about uh, the online support for the youtubers and blockers so it will really help us to come with some new future projects as we all uh, are studying here or uh, we are doing jobs here so we don't have uh, like normally we have some time during the evenings so we spend our time in recording the videos and the final video of one hour which come in front of you it takes around four to five hours which is we have to do some research our research team then we prepare some presentations and recording then recording it also takes around two hours and then rendering video editing uploading on youtube the whole video which actually is of one hour it takes around four to five hours of hard work 
so uh, we are not asking for any money from your side we are only asking us to like our video subscribe our channel and if you want uh, uh, want free league voluntary you can also support us on patreon uh, with as low as 1 euro if you want you can also uh, contribute more or less it's it's all up to you and even if you don't want to contribute it's not a problem but it's a kind of like contribution platform so some of our youtube viewers suggested that so uh, so we thought that we should we should also make a make an account on patreon for this video it is everything that's finished and uh, for the for the next uh, until the next video i wish you very good luck for the preparation of your iron background test till the next time i would say bye